Dude, I was, I remember the day that I wrote Heartbreak. I felt so, I was relieved, but I was just so elated. I was on fire. Not even thinking of it as a single necessarily, but that same feeling that I've had in the past with like, with Crazy. I just remember kind of going through the track listing and realizing that I didn't have a love song because I wasn't in that place. But, you know, like I remember the conversation that we had where it was, you know, it was kind of like a, well, how are you, <clears throat> how are you doing? And I was just like, honestly, the way I see it, if that relationship was that good, but it wasn't right, then whatever the right one's gonna be, I'm, number one, I'm gonna know instinctively. It's not gonna be a checklist thing. Like, I don't have a checklist. I wanted to write a series of love songs to my future, you know, my future better half. In fact, that was the name originally of the song. It was right after I wrote One Shot, and you know, this was a time where for the first time in five years I was like writing by myself, and yeah, just journaled. I guess, to, to the future better half, you know? Writing it was easy. I mean, it was just so natural because I had thought about it so much and because I'd been in that headspace. Every step is a step in the right direction. You know, even back steps, even fuck ups, teach you something, make you better, is all progress, you know? That's a bit of a glass half full way of looking at it, but that's the way I see it and that's what I believe. I believe that, you know, every lonely night, every, ish, okay date, you know? It, it just, it shapes you and it shapes your, your future in a really cool way and I, I love the optimism of that. I think a lot of people, I, I, I've, I hope a lot of people can relate to that. I do love that that line, I've been in some shit relationships but I remain an optimist is like everybody's favorite. You know, watching shows back, that's the line that you hear crowd singing the most, which is hilarious because the song's not even out, <laughs> you know? Don't we all want to be optimistic, even if we aren't? <laughs> but we all, I think we all want to know that there's someone for us. You can't change the way a society thinks about breakups and past relationships, and you can't, you can't <clears throat> fix everyone's heartbreak. But I kind of wanted to. <laughs> it's stupid, but I do. I want it. I want this to be the first of its kind for a lot of people who think that, or maybe have been told, or for some reason just convinced that you're supposed to feel shitty after a relationship. No, you're fucking awesome. Like, stay awesome. Stay awesome, stay happy, because you deserve to be happy. Don't let someone walk out the door with your happiness and your self-worth. I don't know, I kinda want this song to be somebody's, somebody's like disco ball on a depressing night. You know, rather than a box of tissues in a Hugh Grant movie. It's a song about, it's a song about freedom. It's a song about true, honest happiness and, and love and how there is love for everyone. Not only are you worthy of being loved, but there is somebody out there who loves you even though they haven't met you. It, it, yeah, it just felt like a whole new dimension to the, to the record, you know? It's, it, and it's seemingly simple because it's just a love song named Heartbreak, which I love. Oh, I love 